What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft on Magic Online. Mostly, I think about if hot dogs are sandwiches and building a giant escape from a roomed theme hotel. Okay. Well, that is a thing. That is a thing that, you, that you're welcome to think about. Finally got chicken live. Regards from Germany. So salty. <laughs> Tell Germany I said what's up. What is it? Boris Signet? Or... You guys are going to say Abyssal Persecutor. You guys, you guys love Abyssal Persecutor. Percy, Percy as where he, as he's affectionately known. Phoenix Draft, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh man, it's got to be Signet, right? This format does not facilitate brown town drafts. I hate to break it to you. There's not enough artifacts. This isn't Legacy Cube, right? There's no... There's not, like, Smokestack. There's not, uh... What are the other good ones? Like, there's not Grim Monolith. There's, no, there's none of the Tangle Wire. There's none of the required brown draft. Like, there's no... There's not enough artifacts in this cube. There's no... There's no power, obviously. There's no Time Vault. You like Breeding Pool after Boris Signet? I'd rather take Dragon Skull Summit and try to go Grixis. I'm also tempted to just take this Drolf's Messenger because honestly, every time I've played against a Drolf's Messenger, it has crushed me. And uh, the, the the removal just doesn't line up with Drolf's Messenger very well. I'm going to repeat that every time there's an artifact first pick. Please respond the same way every time as you have. I will. I will. One thing to keep in mind is that when people say things in chat um, and I have a response to them, it's it's hard to remember the exact person who said something like that. So um, keep in mind if I reply to you that way every time, it's probably just because I forgot you were the first person who said it. It's not because I think you need to hear it again. I like Dreadbore and I like Skin Render, but I also like Rugged Prairie. So, you know, magic's hard. What are you going to do? Um, probably just taking Rugged Prairie. Oh, I like a, I like a Lightning Helix here. Yeah, I don't think he had a point whatsoever. Uh, that's just my opinion. I don't think there's any point to that. Uh, I don't think representation is ever a bad thing. And the only people who think representation is a bad thing are people who are overly represented uh, because they actually don't know what it's like to not be represented. So they don't have that same... Uh, it's, they're not coming from the same place. I try to keep my, my stream very non-political, apolitical, if you will, because I don't like to divide my audience like that. Um, that's pretty much why. So... I think Lightning Helix is probably pretty good. Also, here's the other thing. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, representation for, for minorities, for women, um, it doesn't hurt you. It never actively hurts you. Um, you never get to sit there and be like, oh, I'm so wounded by this representation that the, the cis white male is not receiving right now. It never affects you unless you let it affect you. But that's a fragile ego. And that's on you. That's not on anyone else. So, I mean, that's the last thing I'm going to say about it. I don't really want to keep talking about it. I do get a little worked up about it because it's extremely frustrating to hear people, uh, complain about things like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's the end. Taking the signet. Sorry for sorry for bringing that up. Uh, we'll keep it apolitical from here on out. 
if representation doesn't hurt, then why are you claiming it hurts minorities not to be representation represented? Okay, so your question is idiotic. That's like saying if guns don't hurt, why are you claiming it hurts minorities not to be shot? Um, those are two different things. One is the lack of something. One is something. <laughs> like it does. The lack of representation hurts. Representation itself doesn't hurt. Those are two different things. It's not the same thing. It even, the question doesn't even make sense. All right. Anyway. Blade Splicer. I'm going to focus on the draft. I am going to ignore it. I don't see the point of these questions. I don't get it. Um, I apologize, guys. I'm going to take Fatal Push here. I like Electrolyze, especially with Izzet Signet. We could actually just be... We might not play Dragon Skull Summon. We could just be Jeskai, which I think Electrolyze is actually significantly better. That makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. I agree with you. If only... Oh, I think we just found out what's going on here. Do we beat that Mono Black? Um... I don't know if we beat the mono black. I think we we beat we went one two in the last draft, so I'm not sure which which is the match we won. I'm gonna take Sphinx's Rev. Sphinx's Rev has been overperforming in this cube for me personally. Um, I think imprisoned is actually probably fine. I also like Dead Gone. I think Dead Gone has been good. What if we get Pester? The problem with the modern cube is there's no Splinter Twin. There's just Kiki Jiki. Actually, Dead Gone can go over here. Cargan Dragon Lord's a thing. Mana Confluence actually could also be fine, especially with Sphinx's Rev and Lightning Helix. I think this is actually perfect. Uh, what's the secret of winning in this cube? I will let you know once I figure it out, my friend. I like Oust. I like Oust more than Lay Claim. I don't know if Oust, uh, Lay Claim is a card we always have the luxury of casting. Playing blue has definitely been helpful to my win percentage, that's for sure. Has Kiki Chiki ever been a rare? I actually don't know. Kiki Majiki? Well, there's no Jace here. All right, so it was rare and Iconic Master. It was Mythic, 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 Mythic. The only time it was rare was in Champions. Okay, interesting. I know a tip for not losing. Don't start a match two minutes before the Transformer explodes outside. That is a good. That is a good tip. I think anyone in the chat is uh, in good position to follow it. I actually like Cyclonic, Cyclonic Rift a lot. I think this card is amazing if you can cycle it. And by cycle, I mean overload. And there's really nothing in this pack that we care about. Mm. Mm. I also like Temporal Mastery a lot. No Planeswalkers yet, though. But I'm also not sure if the, the rarity matters. I'm not sure if... Um, if it matters if it's mythic or rare because i'm not sure the distribution like i don't know if packs have like like this pack or like has like rare rare uncommon rare mythic 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 and then like like i don't think the distribution actually matters i guess it's temporal mastery here i feel like that's good scarab god is basically a planeswalker that is a fair point our only splashing is dragon skull summit though so i kind of like just I like Temporal Master or I like Battlefield Forge. I think it's Battlefield Forge. I like the land better. Which is so weird. Oh, I like a Mana Leak and I like a Vizier of Many Faces. The Many-Faced God, if you will. Is it Vizier or is it Mana Leak? What do you guys think? I 
I, for one, never join a stream or join a cube queue without a quick you okay out there, Optimus. Oh, actually, a Leshnorn is a thing. Like Manalik over Vizier? This is two, this is two clones. I'll take Manalik. I think Manalik's very good. Ooh, Cascade Bluffs. Do we really want two filter lands, though? Probably. The other option is search for Escanta. Yeah, I'll just take the, the Cascade Bluffs. I do like Frosty. Oh, I like Resto too. I also like Disallow. Dang it. Does Resto even have any good targets? Blade Splicer, Frosty, I guess. It's actually pretty good. It's basically kind of a counter spell, but it also combos with like Kiki Jiki if we get the Kiki Jiki. That seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only two cards are coming back. I'm going to predict that they are Strangler Geist and Glory Bound Initiate. Or actually, Ripper, Geist, or Initiate. Those are my guesses. This is basically a dis. This is basically just a disallow, right? That seems fine. I also like a braid. Ooh, a braid is nice in this cube because you can uh, just kill one of their artifacts too. I think it's scatter though. Is it charm? I like Chandra. I think Chandra is a pretty under underappreciated planeswalker. I think scatter is versatile. Counters any spell. Any spell whatsoever. If they want to kill, if they got a creature that we could abraid, we'll just counter it. If they got an artifact we could abraid, we'll just counter it. Plus, we get to make a 3 3. Everybody wins. Declaration Stone is actually great. We can play that. Oh, Temporal Mastery came back. God, some, the rich get richer. Polygon's Command. Geist of St. Traft is hot garbage. I'm not a Geist of St. Traft fan anymore. You've, you've, you've hurt me one too many times. I like Colagon's Command a lot, actually, especially because we already have Dragon Skull Summit and Mana Confluence. I'll put you in the main deck. Search for Escanta. That's real late. I like Go for the Third a lot, too. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll just go with the Search here. I don't think we should be greedy. I think Colagon's Command is way too versatile to pass up. It's basically just an, it's like a better abrade, right? Sublime Archangel. Why did I pass Geist? Because I'm I, I don't think Geist is good in this format. There are way too many two threes and two twos in this format. Every time I've had Geist or played against Geist, it has been extremely underwhelming. I don't even hate Knight of Metagrain. That's a good card. Jason Mind Sculptor, Nickel Bolas, Inferno Titan. Or Snapcaster. This is actually the best Snapcaster deck. We get Declaration in Stone, Cyclonic Rift, Mana Leak, Lightning Helix, Collective Defiance, Scatter to the Winds, Electrolyze, Colagon's Command. Uh, Temporal Mastery, if we have a way to discard it. Dead Gone. Ideally, Nicol Bolas would come back, but I think this is definitely a Snapcaster pack. Arid is in the conversation. I just think these other cards are way more powerful than an Arid Mesa. And our fixing isn't that bad right now. We have five lands. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick an Arid here over Snapcaster, especially with no dual lands. If we had a Steam Vents or a uh, Hollow Fountain, I could see picking Arid Mesa. 
but we don't. So I think it's actually snappy. We also have resto for snappy. Torrential Gear Hulk is just Snapcaster 2.0, right? Oh, I actually really like this Sword in here too. And I like Sword of Fire and Ice. Those are my three picks here. Sword, Gear Hulk, or Sorin. I just had total streamception. I had muted this stream and gone back to watching Modern Monday VOD. Then someone mentioned about trying to pause the stream. I was about to come into chat about doing the same thing. And then I remembered it was a VOD. I was like, Chad, do you watch the VODs or do you watch them on YouTube? How many how many targets do we have for Torrential Gear Hulk? One. Well, Sphinx's Revelation is not going to be great. Two, three. I'm also not super sold on Collected Finds just because it's double blue or double red when it's... Actually, I like Gear Hulk a lot here. Could just be Isolated Chapel. Like, it's going to come into play untapped more often than not. Creeping Tarpet is a blue fixing land, though, which is something we want. Actually, it might just be Glenelandra Archmage. I think it's Glenelandra. Okay, cool. I, I'd, I'd prefer everybody would just watch it on YouTube because I actually put more work into the thumbnails and uploaded and regular uploads and stuff like that. Plus, you don't get all the, like, the filler at the beginning and the end. Steam Vents or Baneslayer Angel. Oh, God. Baneslayer Angel is so good. Gear Hulk on Rev. That is a... That's living some kind of dream, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure it's just Steam Vents here. I mean, with this cube and the way the uh, the lands come back, I wouldn't even be surprised if the Iron Mesa came back. We're definitely taking this Chandra. We have two two fixing two red fixing signets, and this Chandra is just great, great arena. I am a bigger fan of Ertali. Mario or Tali than most people, I would say. But I could also see just taking Phyrexian Obliterator. Just kidding, we're not doing that. Hellkite's also very good. I like Hellkite a lot in most cubes, to be quite honest. The, the, these, like, five mana red flyers are usually pretty good. I like, oh my god, I just want to attack with this guy once, dude. Also, Pyromancer's good, too. How many fixing lands do we have right now? Six? It's pretty good. We're also only splashing for this, so we might not need a second black land. It probably is Young Pyromancer. Oh, God. That makes me feel so bad. I think Gristlebrand's actually the pick here. I'm just kidding. It's not the pick at all. It's definitely a Johnny. <laughs> the more four mana cards we can, uh, we can, we can sneak into are pretty good. I could probably take... I'm going to take the Collective Defiance out. I'm not a huge fan of Collective Defiance. Probably not a huge fan of Double Chandra. I think a Johnny's probably just better here. Scalding Tarn. That is a late Scalding Tarn and something I'm very eager to pick up here. I think a Mike B might be joining us soon. Yeah, I'm definitely taking Scalding Tarn. Now that we can get a Steam Vents... Inferno Titan came back. All right. Well, I will put you into the pile. That was an eighth pick Scalding Tarn, just to be clear. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need Mizzy Mortars here. We have Lightning Helix, Mana Leak, Cyclonic Rift, Deccan Stone, uh, Electrolyze, Colagon's Command, Scatter, Ajani, Chandra. Like, we have a ton of removal. This deck is not wanting for removal. I'm going to take Warkite Marauder, I guess. I guess we can take Temporal Isolation. Is this prevent all all damage? That's pretty good. Condemn? Alright, sure. PNLR is actually pretty decent. God, I would really say this is a 16 land deck except for the 3-6 drops and the Sphinx's Revelation and the Temporal Mastery. Take P I'm never going to play Delver of Secrets even in this deck. It's probably just Deck and Stone, to be quite honest. No, maybe not. That's probably Oust, actually. Oust is probably worse than Deck and Stone. 
I saw your card restart restart oh. the other day. I had a restart in FNM where I had an island in Undead Alchemist and another card on restart. Oh my god. I am also still a little upset I didn't take Nickel Bolas, but what can you do? Mr. Tasty still said he didn't take Bolas. Me too, buddy. Me too. Thank you so much, dude. I like when our sideboard looks like this, where it's like all the colors that you're in except for Rattleclaw Mystic, which I could even play as a 2-2 if I really want to. Wow, that is a late Thundermount Hellkite and a late Mind Shatter. Do we just find a place for this Thundermount Hellkite now? I think we just play 41 and keep the Thundermount Hellkite. It's a lot of good lands. I also don't mind Mana Confluence as much when we have things like Lightning Helix and a Johnny Vengeance to gain life and Sphinx's Revelation to gain life. That was a lot of life gain. That is one of the reasons I like having Sphinx's Revelation because when we draw all these lands, you kind of get rewarded. 41 for the special. Nice. You have a K Command as your only black card. That is correct. And we have uh, Dragon Skull Summon and Mana Confluence to cast it off of, which is fine, I think. I think K-Command is 100% worth it. I would just rather play K-Command than not play Command. Play, play K-Command, rather. Especially when we can get things like Torrential Gear Hulk, Inferno Titan, Frost Titan back. Alright, so... Sort by color here. Obviously, we're heavy blue. I don't know if you guys knew that. So this is... Okay. Okay, really? No. 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 All right. Also, why aren't you in just a red pile? Yeah, one black card with two sources, and we have tons of ways to... We have Search for Ascanta. We have... Uh, Electrolyze. We have... Sphinx's Revelation... Chandra, like we have a lot of ways to uh, to dig. I mean, I guess Chandra's not going to hit a land, right? Yeah, it's play the card. Well, it's is a it player cast. It's cast, right? Yeah, that's a weird stipulation. Why don't you just say play? I mean, I'd rather this be a blood crypt, but I think it's still fine. I don't really want a fourth six drop in my deck, <laughs> so I don't think I don't think big Chandra is the answer. I don't think we want Torrential Gear Hulk, Frost Titan, Inferno Titan, and Big Chandra. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue sources. I think that's fine. This was not a stip draft. Uh, red, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we can go down to nine, especially when both signets. White, we have one, two, three, four. We're actually going to go up here and down here again. So we have four, including signets. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red sources. We might not even need a basic mountain, to be quite honest. I mean, we can get it with Scalding Tarn, but we can just get Steam Vents. Like, I don't think we need to search for a, a mountain at any point. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Uh, I was checking something. I forgot what it was. I mean, one mountain might be worth it, but like, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine sources of, of, of red mana. That's a lot. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of blue mana, which is also a lot, but we have a ton more blue cards. I'd actually like to go to ten here. Three, four, five, six, seven sources of white, which is, that's actually a lot considering we have no double white cards. So I'm going to add this to the deck and we can actually add two more lands. So we can actually add one more white and one more red. All right. That actually seems good. And actually 41 is fine because we have two signets as well. So I'm not going to be super upset if we... Uh, 
if we end up, you know, drawing uh, extra, you know, whatever. I don't like having Temporal Master in my opening hand, but I do like having Mana Leak. I feel like this is a really good Monastery Mentor deck, but... <sighs> we can keep this hand. It does a lot of things. Plus we have... 15 lands, 2 Signets, and the rest of the deck. So 16 cards. Almost half the deck is Mana Sources. That is not one of them. Um, I like Dead Gone better than Temporal Isolation. We probably should have killed this actual Avacyn's Pilgrim. Which is one reason why it's better, but... So now we can exile this guy, which is probably correct. Nope, that ain't going to do it. Yeah, I think the shock. I think the shock is good. Also returning a creature and just bouncing a guy is also very, very good sometimes. All right, now we're looking for those lands. If only this guy killed all the... Okay, so basically... Land. Eh, that'll do. Pow. I can keep a leak up. Seems good. Oh, cracking the clue. All right, four cards. I mean, they would have seven mana this turn. That's a good amount. That ain't no joke. I don't think we even care about that, really. Although, if we, like, play Thunder My Hellkite and they get to exile... I'm going to mana like this. If we play, like, Hellkite at some point and they, they ultimate price it with a Mimic Vat out, like, we're basically just dead to that, right? Would have liked you last turn, but I guess you'll do. They have two cards, three cards. They have three cards with six mana. We have four cards with three mana. That seems worse. Bisman Kringo, um, I assume you're Deadman because Deadman's no longer in the room. I didn't even ban you. I have mods that do that kind of stuff for me, so I don't know why you're you're coming at me and being like, thanks for engaging in a rational debate or like whatever else the other thing was you, was you saying because um, I, I'm not even talking. I'm not even responding to you, man. Like, so I don't know why you're coming at me as if like it's my, like, like I'm doing something to you. Like there are mods in the channel. 
they they I'm sitting here playing Magic the Gathering, dude. And so it's also very weird that people have multiple Twitch channels, Twitch Twitch accounts, and they log out of one and then log into another just to make a comment. Like that's a little obsessive, don't you think? Um, and so anyway, my point is, I t okay, I'm going to read what you said. Not being proportionally represented doesn't hurt males and whites. Um, you wouldn't, okay, A, you would never know that because it's never happened. Males and, and, and whites have never not been proportionally represented, ever. Um, but, but actually, being actually proportionally represented does hurt women and minorities, question mark? No, it doesn't. They, wait, no. Yeah, yes, it does. Because it's not proportional. Like, that's the problem. God, oh, God. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. Hello? Oh, God, dude. I can't. Like, it's just... It doesn't... It doesn't hurt you, is the, is the point. And, like, just... Stop... Hate... Just stop being just miserable. Stop just stop being a miserable person. Like, I even said in the chat, hey, let's not talk about politics. Have a little respect for the person you're watching, whether you enjoy the stream or not, and just drop it. It's not a big deal. Can I move this somewhere? No, it's got to stay right there. Okay, well, I'm going to move it anyway. All right, well, don't drop those cards on the end. I won't. Oh. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Mike got a, uh, uh, well... You know what it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, guys. Oh, big golf, huh? All right. Well, see you later. All right, there you go. I didn't know you still had those. Wow, I like that I said don't drop those, and you literally dropped them. Well, that's the exact thing you did. They slid off. I, not, that's why I specified. I'm like, hey, don't drop those, because they were, they're very easy to slide off, because it's a stack of, like, 25 cards. Well, I fixed it. Okay. No harm, no well, foul. All right. I did pee on them, though. Oh my god, I don't understand why you guys are keeping... Like, it's unbelievable. Like, I think you're... I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, why... Why is it so hard for you people to just not talk about this in my Magic the Gathering stream when I never even brought it up? That's the weirdest part. Like, you guys... Deadman initially brought it up with this nonsense he was talking about, like, well, my, well, my first love, my second love, and my wife. Like, okay, cool. I, I If that was a cool... If that was an accurate statement, that's awesome. But, unfortunately, it was just... You know, nonsense. So I don't even know why we're still talking about it. Like, that's what gets to me. Because the amount of obsession that is present in these conversations is like... Like, you're you're, you're bringing it up after I've asked you not to. You're logging in with different accounts. Like, I, uh, just let it go, man. Just, just chill out. Just have fun. And now we're done. So I apologize for anyone watching this on YouTube or watching the VODs. Um, I definitely try to keep my stream uh, apolitical because, good Lord, you've seen the, the nonsense that ensues when you don't. Like just now. Like just now. Literally accurate. I just used up all the ink in my pen. Is that good? I can't tell if that's good. It means you've been doing a lot of writing. We're talking about nothing. Let's please move the conversation along um, to other to other areas of, of life. Oh, this is actually pretty good because we can skin render our guy. That's actually great. I'm, I, think, I think I meant Restoration Angel, not skin render. We're not skin rendering our own guy. That seems bad. Yeah, I don't think that's a good strategy. I don't have any cards and I haven't played really I haven't played. do you think sealed pre-release would be a good place I think sealed pre-release is great to start actually um not only will it help you start a collection with Dominaria but it's also a good way it's just a good way to, to get used to the cards as well so I I would definitely recommend that and they didn't get to play their Wolfie or Silverheart so that's pretty good Mike B did you get your ears lowered yeah I had an ears lowered operation actually it's, a, it's called an ear lowered otomy is uh that's what they're known as so way to go 
you get another haircut? You got two haircuts in two days? Yeah. It's impressive, man. Good for you. How many pieces of ice is Mike B going to drop today? That's a good question. This is uh, These are the hard grass and the hard questions right now. I'm tempted to just attack draw two. Draw two doesn't seem great, but it does get us closer to other things. We can also just Thunder Mile Hellkite and attack for eight. But we're going to take two, so we're going to 14. They're going to play Wolfier Silverheart and attack for presumably seven. So that's nine, so we'd go, we'd go to seven. Dominaria actually does look like it's a lot of fun. Mike didn't get the reverse Mohawk yet, which is kind of disappointing. <laughs> Um, I don't know why. I don't know what he's waiting for, but... I'll be right back. Are you going to go get it right now? Yeah. Wow, that's really cool that we just... We just influenced his whole life. Uh, I do own Magic Prince. I don't own any actual magic art. I was trying to get the art for Mystic Snake for the longest time, but the person who has it didn't respond to me and apparently isn't selling. Um... I'd rather actually Sphinx, Sphinx's Revelation next turn because if we draw one land, uh, not only do we get one more card, but we don't really have to do it just yet. But I have uh, I have been trying to get the Mystic Snake art for the longest time. Um, not really super aggressively, but it would probably be the, the top on my list just because it's not super popular like Cryptic Command or something. But it is one of my favorite cards. So... Um, but yeah, I have prints. I have a print of the new art of Cruel Ultimatum. I have a print of Phyrexian Obliterator. I have a Polluted Delta print. I have a Leovold print up right above, right above my desk here. I have two prints, um, from Magali that I got from, that are, that are Search for Ezkanta and the other side of Search for Ezkanta. Azteca? Ezkanta? I don't know what it is. Ezkanta the Sunken Runes? I guess it is Ezkanta. <laughs> but... Yeah, I have a bunch of magic art. Not art art, not like the originals, but, you know, prints. So. Oh, boy. You okay? Um, well, we can't talk about it on stream, so I'll talk to you about it later. Bad or good? Uh, good. Really? Yeah. Good, but you can't talk about it on stream. That's interesting. Did you win the lottery? I might as well have. Okay, that's interesting. What's happening right now? I'm very confused at what's going on. <laughs> oh, Lightning Helix seems wonderful. I might as well have won the lottery. What the hell? <laughs> Did someone swipe right? <laughs> oh, I need to know, Mike. I can't handle it. <laughs> Did the DNA kids come back? Is Frank really your dad? Oh, man. Mike got a date on Tinder. Mike scored a date with a hair cutter. Wow. <laughs> Introducing the newest member of Watsy R&D, Michael Barbobli. <laughs> These guesses are gas. Yeah, well, I think we're just going to attack the Nyssa and then Lightning Helix on the Soul Bond. Actually, maybe we don't attack at all here. My pro Actually, we have to because I don't want them to make all their guys big bigs hunter stop licking god lick lick i'm real curious now man <laughs> you can't just say that in front of us and you really us can't monster. be like wow I, you could like you came in here and been like i, I thought something bad happened no <laughs> half price kettle corn chips at the store <laughs> Mike's like jalapeno kettle corn chips are bogo at Publix right now. <laughs> oh my god. Lick, lick, licking. Uh, why no attack with Pyro? I, I don't know, because I'm a... Oh, I don't know, because I'm a dummy. Because I'm trying to focus on what you guys are doing. That's why. Put on the skin render. I want to get the best value possible. Wait, this isn't targeted? Oh, for crying out loud. 
Oh, so we can just still want something else? Yeah, like he can just choose whatever he wants. Oh my god, oh, that's, that's terrible. Really good. Did you discover the lost city of El Dorado? That seems like it'd be pretty good. Maybe. My opponent's name is Bear Hugs, which which makes me think that they'd be friendly. But see, now they're just going to be like, I'll choose a different guy. God, Solbon is so dumb, dude. I'll put it on my mystic. I feel bad because we're wasting all this mana. I guess if we draw a card, like we go Sphinx's Revelation, we have a perfect guy to block. Hey, man, you got a juice station? Put it on here. Yeah. Got a little wireless charger for you that should do man wireless charging is op how does that even exist i don't know how it works magnets? i don't either dude it's got to be magnets magnets i think that's just what people that's what uh non-science people think all science comes down to that, that was a joke You're like it's gotta be some kind of magnets right i'm just gonna play this for two it's on your own turn yeah because i want to land because next turn if we temporal mastery then we can do really good things with our life choices whatever that means attack Nissa. you don't need to be having no Nissa. are you saying he's a non-science guy i am actually saying that how dare you i am chemist magnets confirmed actually i do believe it is magnets wow say so, hey man you guess Get you guess magnets about science stuff 100 times Maybe 99 times you're wrong, but maybe that one time, it's actually magnets. Licking our blood. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. <laughs> It's pretty good, right? This is a lot of damage. I think we might be dead here. I'm not comfortable with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All this talk about being political and then you go and bring up magnets? I didn't mean to. So we're dead to Shriek Maw. That's interesting. I guess we have to find an answer. I guess top card's got to be an answer to Shriek Maw. Mm, the fear is bad, okay? Wolfear Silverheart is also a card that has been... What? Oh, wow. We're alive now. That's amazing. It's a thick-ass boy. <laughs> Dang! That's a thick-ass boy! That's <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. How do we beat this Wolfear Silverheart? I don't know. I guess we just double block it. Double block this guy, just two in front. Just to show him that we can do it. Alright, so Cyclonic Rift is gone. Sphinx's Rev is gone. Deccan Stone is gone. Alright, that's fine. It's not impressive. Can't flip it yet. Next turn, though. Is everyone ready for the Magnetic Pulse to shift? Is the next Apocalypse to not do anything? Oh, no. That sounds scary, actually. Oops. <laughs> Everybody wants to know, man. It is very good news. I mean, it has to be, right? Oh, it is. I think the job that I received, that the good one I was talking about, yeah, it it seems legit now. Really? Oh yeah. Or it's the weirdest. <gasps> it's the worst scam of all time. That's interesting. What did I just? What can I do with this? You can get back. Let you get back a creature, right? Yeah, it's not not very good. Not but very. None of our creatures do anything. 
Uh, well, Hawkeye okay, blocks, right? Yeah, but not super well, right? I mean, it trades, right? It trade with a 5-5. Five, five. And we can also kill this, get back Hellkite. Yeah, I think that's the best. But one, we two, can't three, play Hellkite one, two, this three, turn, four, right? Five. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, But we... No, we can't do anything this turn. Good lord. Why not? We... No, we're dead. Pay one. That we need a black... Oh, we died in the Nissa attack. No, we need a black, a red, and a red, and a red. And we have one natural red, so we have to go black, red, red, and we take three and go to negative one. No, you you pay blue to the the bluffs. Oh, this is the bluffs. Red. Yeah. You're right. I thought but this was We're a... still dead to the Nissa attack. Cause we... No, we'd kill her. We'd go two to Nissa and Thunderbolt. Oh, Ball. yeah. That makes us live. Let's do that. We take one from this? Yeah. For black? Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. With... You, you... No, that's not how it... Yeah, oh, wait, you want to have me double red? I just want to, I want it in the pool right now. Yeah. And then... Use the white for that. And then black. Boy, this is scary right now. Dang, boys! A thick-ass boy! Alright, uh, return a creature from your deal two damage. So we're going to get Thundermall back. And kill this. Yes. And we also get to keep up one for Glenwinder. Seems good. Wow. I don't know what happened. I mean. Wait. Oh, wait. Dang it. Maybe yep. you won't see it. Maybe they won't see it. Wait. Wait, Mike. Pitch us the job as if you were a recruiter and we can tell you if it's a scam or not. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see, we start with a pyramid, right? A pack one, pick one. I currently am jobless. Uh, I just recently got one job for sales, and there's another one that seems to be working out. So they didn't see it. They didn't? No, dude. Woo! Oh wait, oh no. I'll just jump here. That's fine. Oh, oh, I thought God. he was taking his attack back and activating. No, it's too late. We're already in attacks. They can't do that. Did you get the FedEx? Was that the envelope? You opened yeah. the envelope? Interesting. <laughs> it was a FedEx envelope, too. I was impressed. We're at one life. We can never tap either of these again for, for colored mana. Or for any mana. You think Mike has computer programming in his skill set? Please. Why can't this be total seven? That would be good. Felipe would made 75. He he just PayPal me nine bucks. He's like, I'll round up for you. Mike, is there a $499 sign up fee for your new job and does it involve forwarding <laughs> checks from Kazakhstan? Uh no. <laughs> Look what they're playing right now. Is that your mom? No. Okay. You want me to proofread that email for you? I think we died. It's real sad. Did you not see them play the Galta? Come on. Did we die? Yes. I'm going to no. bring in Temporal Isolation and Condemn. Lick, lick, licking problem. Lick, lick. Actually, I could take out Glenlinger Archmage. She didn't really do that much work there. And Temporal Mastery. That seems fine. Is that your mom? No. Swipes right. <laughs> oh, gas, dude. All right, this hand is also terrible. I just heard my computer bing when he started texting. Is Mike my secret crush? Probably. Not anymore. Wow. Let's keep it. Do we actually keep it? No. We go to five? Actually, ugh. This might be better than five. Oh, that's going to the bottom. We can play it everything. Wasn't that fast, right? We're just going to draw Kolagon's Command. No, they're not that fast. Watch, it's going to be Kolagon's Command off the top with the, one, with the one card we can't cast in our deck. Oh, okay. Is 
Oh, the old Snelligan, a classic. What do you think about this card? Togar, Famine Incarnate. <laughs> Rishkar, Togar. Eight mana, that's a lot. As additional cost to cast a spell, you must sacrifice any may. number of... Oh, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs two less to cast for each creature sacrifice. Wait, okay. So you can sack like a lot of things to make it double black. Sack like three dudes to make it double black, yeah. When Togar, Famine Incarnate, enters the battlefield, up to one target... Up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total rounded down. What does this card remind you of? Oh, this is totally... Um, what's the name of that card? Uh, I can't remember the name of the dragon. It's Alexstrasza, right? Alexstrasza, yeah. It's, it's the totally same card. Oh, I, I mean, there's no sacrifice involved in Alexstrasza, right. but... So oh, in eight theory, mana, it's better. It makes you go to half your life total, which instead of 30 would be 15 in Hearthstone. Uh, and this so makes you 10. instead of 20, it goes yeah, to 10, 10, yeah. Right. I don't know. That card might be good. I don't want to sack three dudes to just play this guy. Like, what if you're at 13, though, you know? like you feel like, like a like... token-based deck, though? Maybe. I think it has potential. Let's... Oh, you can do it on yourself, too. Yeah. So if you're at, like... So if you're at, like, 6, you can go to 10. Right. Okay. We drew a land, just to be That's clear. That's not bad. I think we're dead here. What's the name of this card? I don't know. Swipes right... <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. It's an interesting card. It's really good in Commander. I think you can say that about any card that's decent. Bells Unlock. That sounds like... That sounds like somebody... That's, Bells Unlock sounds like someone that Dwight Schrute would have come... For like a holiday event. Like, it's not a Christmas until the Bells Unlock comes. <laughs> wow, they got a Utopia Sprawl and a Fertilid Ground. It's just called Fertilid Ground, right? Right, Michael? Yeah. Okay, good talk. Glad we had this conversation. Oh man, look at that. The old. There's only turn Snap three. Blocking that. How's this turn three? You played this on turn one, this on turn two. Oh, you played this on turn three and then played this guy too? Alright, this is a lot of things you're doing right now. Swipe right for fertile ground. Oh my. See, I told you, you should have mulliganed. My bad. Well, it's only eight lands left in our deck or something like that. Nine lands. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, as much as this hand wasn't great, I still think it might have been better than going five. Assuming we draw some action. Well, that's something right there. This that's is actually exile? really annoying. It exiles it, so this guy only makes a thing when they when it dies. Mike looks like the kind of guy who finds all the Easter eggs and becomes master of the oasis. What does that even mean? I don't know, but I like it. Oh, a shriek maw. Feel free to put my young pyromancer under your mimic vat. Oh, you also evoked it, which is fantastic. Shriek Monitor Mimic Vat seems good. That seems unbeatable, right? What? Shriek Monitor Mimic Vat? Uh, yeah. I think we can see. All right. Well, we had a good run. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one round of a draft. Oh, you're just going to quit the league? I'm just going to quit my life. So it's all done. <laughs> see you guys next time on Drawing a Land. Oh, Temporal Isolation. What do you want? Has he been out? He went out earlier. He could probably go out. I mean, has anyone really gone out? Like, if you think about it. Well, I don't think this game is going anywhere, so I'll let him out real quick. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Who knows? Maybe he'll come back. Nope. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I guess we could draw, like, Sphinx's Rev and draw... Th I don't know. There's... Do we even have an answer for Mimic Vat?
To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will battle across the land, searching far and wide. Burr, 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 to each Pokemon to understand the Pokemon inside. Hey, look at that. We did it. We do have a disenchant on the board. I guess if we win this game, there's a chance. We saw literal no artifacts or enchantments in game one, other than maybe like a Utopia Sprawl or a Furled Ground. I'm just going to keep calling it Furled Ground, so. I guess we can Cyclonic Rift it. And that at least gets the Shriek Mod from under it. And we have Kologon's Command. Okay. All right. Now we're... I'm feeling a little better now, because we can take two for a bunch, and then... Sphinx is rev for a million. Here comes old Wolf your Silverheart, like you do. Oh dear God. We no longer have the luxury of waiting to Sphinx's revelation. We have to do it right now. Even though it makes a voice of resurgence token. Well, biscuits. Well, that's utterly disgusting. So, dead on board. Okay. Sniffs? Please rift. Oh, we actually drew that? Yeah, but they then they just play, and I was like, oh, we can just take two for a couple turns because they only had a two two. But then they played Galta. Then they played Galta. Scattered to the wind. Rugged. Oh, you didn't do it on your turn. No, because we had to. We dead. Like we we have to use our mana on our turn to be able to not die. It's got trample. Oh, of course it does. Yep. Oh yeah, Galta has trample. Yeah. That's the end. All right. Good games. But they were not good games. They were bad games. Brutal. Yeah, that was the thing, huh? All right. Do we want to change anything here? This deck looks good on paper. It really does. Got a couple counter spells. Mana looks pretty decent. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, we has a pretty poor draw. I mean, which one? The uh, all lands. No yeah. Spells. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Dang boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn boy, he thick boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Okay. Did you have it to the soundboard yet? No, not yet. I couldn't find a hole. I didn't know what to what to take oh, off. Oh, to take off. You could probably remove one of the filthy franks. I don't think we need both. I think you're right. We never use them anyway. Although I do think we should use the Gotham more often. I do. I like the Gotham actually. I like the Gotham a lot. I so will... get rid of the time to stop. All right. Oh my God. Oh, well, that's a mulligan. This is time to stop this game. That's also a mulligan because it has zero lands. Okay. Well. All right. Snap keep. <laughs> I really want that, but we can't even keep it. No. Hey, we went to four and they went to eight. Seems good. Oh, and we're on the play. Gross. And we hit that. Even more gross. I want to vomit. I'm vomiting right now. <laughs> vomiting back and forth forever in silence. Si internally vomiting. Do you mean pooping back and forth forever? Yes. <laughs> okay, this game's over. Nice. That was fun. Cool. I had a good time. I'm having a good time. I don't know about you guys. I hope you guys out there on YouTube are having a great time. This is this going on YouTube, or is this a shame? Oh, this is this will go on YouTube. I'll I'll share my shame with the YouTubes. Okay. With the two bits, YouTube and the two bits is what I like to call them. We're not adding graph to the soundboard. You're ridiculous. Graph? You know the one. Oh my god. Look at this graph. I know the one. Okay. All right. Let's get rid of you. Let's add a play audio. File, we will grab 
Give me one. Such a professional streamer. <laughs> we want this. We, I have the long one too, but that's where at the end he goes, bow, 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 and I'm just like, no, the short yeah, one's better. Yeah, you don't really need that. It's so good. Let me. I have to play it one more time, guys, just so I can get the volume right. So, damn boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. I think that's actually damn. that should be level, right? Let me know if that volume works for you guys. It seemed right on our end. Yeah, it seemed a lot lower. So, woody woo. I'm saying you should add the oh lord from the yodeling Walmart boy. I don't even know who that is. Oh, no. Please, no. That meme is dem dumb. Dem dumb? There's just this kid who yodels in a Walmart, and it, like, blew up into a meme. It's... I, I don't really... I don't really like it, personally. I bet it's not a big fan of you, either. It's a little loud, but not bad. It peaked too loud. A little loud here. Okay, so it's a little loud. It does have a peak. It definitely has... I'll see if I can edit it. I mean, he's literally yelling, so. Right, but you can tell even in the even in the actual video. Oh my god, I'm just killing it. I know there's a remix, and that makes it a little better, to be fair. But damn boy, that's a big ass boy. Get rid of your pack rat. Put him in the trash can. Kill your pack rat. Make a token. Seems good. We should have actually maybe we could have declaration in stone after they discard a bunch of a bunch of rats to it. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, I'll just deck that guy. I'm gonna deck him. Right in his stupid face. Ooh. Actually, I'm probably gonna keep up. Can I even do that? I can't even keep up scatter here. Not that way. Um, Not anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wait, no, hold on. Yeah. We can play two. this. We add this, and then we add with cascade, right? Yeah, we can do that. Wait. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. Because we can use the red to add double blue. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's complicated, but it works. Math checks out. I think we can win the race against Battery Man. So. Battery Man? Yeah. How does he work? Magnets as well? No, he works with batteries. Duh. How do you think, ba how do you think batteries work? I have, Magnets, no idea. Obviously. I have no idea how batteries work. They got juice in them and you suck them dry? I don't know. No. That is... Oh, God, that was rancid, dude. Sorry, that might have been a little bit of a... Taco roll-up burp. It was a taco roll-up? What is that? At, at the Sev, I got one of those uh, taquito things. Why wouldn't you just go to a real restaurant and get real food? Because I didn't want to take that long. Because of the stream. Wow. So I'd rather save real food for later. And I got my super big gulp. It was only like a dollar, if that. It was one doll hair. You doing okay? Yes, I, you can link stuff as a non-mod now. We changed that. My dad. Look at all my gentlemen. So many gentlemen. I wish I had a black source, but that's fine. This young peasy is one of the game for us. What are you linking here? I've grown so used to you somehow. But I'm nobody's sugar daddy now and I'm alone. That kid's actually pretty impressive. For some reason that's a meme though. I don't understand why. Because everything's a meme. It's 2018. It's all <laughs> memes. It's memes all the way down. Wow, they... Oh, here comes Damnation. Five mana. Five mana Demonic Tutor. Oh, the remix was about to drop. All right, I'll, I'll, let, it, I'll let it roll. Did I close it? I think you did. I didn't mean to. I was going to watch it later. That's actually pretty good. I'd listen to that. I bet they got Damnation and we just got Glenlanger Archmage and it's like, oh. That's well, brutal if they did. That's awkward. Glenlanger Archmage is not a fair card. 
Uh, it's actually two fair cards. <laughs> I don't know why anything. Ha oh, oh, that's not that's a, a. That's pretty good. Well, we can. Call break it up. command. We can break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Actually, do we just win if we alpha? Probably not. Oh yeah, we do because we shoot them for two. Yeah, they're just dead. Are they? Oh, they're six. Yeah. They're they dead. block and we kill it. Yeah, four damage. Gotcha. We out of I think I prefer the. Uh, so you know the guys at auctions that talk really fast? Auctioneer, yeah. Have you seen the remix of that? I've seen the remix of my dad. Oh. So no, I have not. <laughs> Basically, people put a hip-hop beat over it and speed it up a little bit. It's pretty good. I was a hip-hop beat once. Boom! Got him. That game went a lot better. It did. Apparently, when you draw an equal mix of uh, powerful spells and powerful creatures and lands, you get to actually... Interact more favorably on Magic the Gathering. I like Temporal Isolation when they Tell have... me more about this Magic the Gathering strategy. No. Okay. No means no, Michael. Did you see the link Biovisionary posted? No, because she's a monster. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, oh, yeah. I've, I've seen that a million times. That song is great. It's so catchy. It's pretty good. Cheep, 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 cheep a lot of soda yeah that's why it's a super big gulp God, you don't know anything about big gulps oh see you later big gulps huh what are we playing here condemn it's pretty good against warm coil and it's good against Jervolf's messenger and it's Jervolf's messenger hey you yeah good old Jervolfy everybody knows Jervolfy temple isolation is basically pretty decent too I was thinking that too, but they have CDC, so they could just sack it. True. How many gulps are in a super big gulp? How many gulps does it take to get... These hands are unbelievable, dude. A two, three, 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 four, 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 now, four, now, five, four, five, five, now, four, 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 now, hands, eighty, four, four, now, five, 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 sixty, five. Dollar forty six and a half dollar seven dollar and a seven dollar and a half dollar and a dollar forty seven dollar and a half. Do it again. Now eight. Hold down. Now now five. Now I feel like all these auctioneers picked the wrong. The wrong crew path. Now seventy seven. Now half. Now eight. Eight two five. Five hundred and ten. Five hundred and ten. Five hundred and ten. Five hundred and ten. Now eight ten. Eight twelve and a half. Now ten. 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 I can't imagine we're going to get demonetized because of this video, right? Because there's no, no copyright claim on this. But that would kind of invalidate every reaction video ever, right? Dude, reaction videos don't exist anymore. Really? Yeah, people from, have been like stopped making them because they very easily get copyright claimed. Wow. I mean, unless you're H3H3, H3, they really weren't that good anyway, so... Even H three H three, like they don't really do too many reaction videos anymore. You don't. Don't what? I know. Okay, well that was a good talk. Got him. You still find a reason to demonetize it? No, that's not true. None of my videos get demonetized. That's because you haven't hit the big time yet. Once you do, yeah, they're like yeah, small potatoes. Oh, two swords. That's well. Good. It's, it's good you don't have any creatures, well, I guess. Swords is terrifying against us. Actually, they're both pretty good against us. Yeah, they both have red, blue, and white. Those are our three colors, so... So, if we ever let them equip two things to a creature, we're basically dead. I'm just going to try to hope to win the game before anything crazy happens. Alright, they're 13. Oh, wow. What happened? Read your potions. It's a little uh, awkward having auctioneers rap considering black history in America. Wow. Yeah, all right. That was significantly darker than I was expecting <laughs> this to go. Uh, I'm going to close this window now and uh, <laughs> never look back. Oh, dear God. Is that Charles' Magic card, right? No. Being able to continue to lose life. Oh. So now it's a 5-5 five, five pro red, pro white guy. How do we keep getting donked this hard? Donked? Donked. I mean, we won the first match. 
The game? First game? Here? I mean game, yeah. I was, I was going to correct myself, but I was sipping on my sodi pop. I was sipping on my sodi pop. <laughs> At least we can race that pretty well. I'll race you pretty well, you biscuit eater. So we can we? S- we'll do a six. seven, eight, nine. T- we take ten. Oh, he's going to equip the other short too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we take five, six, seven. Eight. Eight from this. Nine, ten from the shooty. Is it five, five? What is? How it, big is it? No- it'll be. It's a three, three normally. So, so it's a seven, five, seven. six, seven. Eight, nine. We're taking ten? Yeah. Ooh. That's what I'm saying, man. Yikes. I guess we can block with our blue creature. Oh, no. I guess we can block with our red creature. Oh, no. We can crack back for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, we do have a crack back with lethal. I guess he can... Well, they gain four from the sword, don't forget. They go to yeah, sixteen. they go to sixteen. Plus, they'll probably shoot young Peasy. This is also thirteen, so... Yeah. That is not enough. It's unfortunate. Look, they just happen to have pro pro your entire deck swords. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a monster. Hey, that's pretty good. Hopefully there's nothing else. Is it a monster? It's a it's a demon dummy. You don't get Cinder Demons monsters? I, I didn't equip the other sword. Interesting. I am fine with that. I will block. It doesn't have trample, right? No, that's cool. Guess he wants to play a five drop, six drop. Who knows what he wants to do? Gary. Sure. Four points. You got it. I think that's still worse than just bashing us for ten, right? This is unreal, man. Yeah, I definitely feel like I would have double sorted and attacked, especially because like you can just play this guy next turn. I mean, he would have dealt his ten, and then next turn he dealt his ten, and we die. So. And they would have got to draw another card. If there was a if there was an Olympic event where you had to draw lands, guys, you'd be the best. America's taking home the gold, boy. The gold boy. The gold boy. Can we get just a cyclonic rift off the top, and then not feel as terrible about our life choices after that? That'd be pretty good. Yeah, MTG Pyro knows what's up. Spaghetti is an F for Spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. All right, no blocks. Kill my Galenlinger Archmage, no doubt. Like you do. This is where they just straight up kill Thunder Mile Kite. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, it's because it's counters. That's obnoxious. I always yep. forget that. Oh, back in the game, boys. That'll do. They have enough, right? Yeah. Mike, that neck cracking is not healthy. Sure it is. Just releasing my juices. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. It's releasing Mike's juices. I'm gonna rift your face. Just rift it away. We'll go to the blocks. Maybe you got a trick. Maybe you got a secret trick. No, you don't. Hey, that's pretty good. (sighs) 
A little awkward giving him a Gary back, but... I mean, it's better than dying. True. I'd rather not die. I wonder if it's just better to bounce the... No, because then they just replay it and they just... They can't play everything this turn. They probably play one guy and one sword. Or double sword. Oh, hi, Mark. Beer Man, man. what's going on, buddy? Long time was no on see. Soundboard. You didn't know Hi Mark was on the soundboard? Nope. Yeah, and he's it, he come he shows up too. You got Tommy Wiseau come visiting you, man. Best fiends. That movie was something, dude. I still don't know what to think of it. Oh, we also couldn't we couldn't actually bounce it because it had pro blue. That's a good point. So our only real option was to to rift it up. And you still got seven cards left, huh? I guess we know four of them. Man, I wish you would have played some pre-combat. That me, me as well. Like a Sadisi sack, your gray merchant. Hey Frank, you never played this other thing I can really? Oh my god, I don't want to know Japoshi. I really. Ed. No, no, <laughs> no. I feel like I insta close any Smash Mouth All Star links that are sent. <laughs> we could have bounced just the sword, but that still seems terrible. Yeah, we're gonna do block with one one. We can't even because it flies. Yeah. It got a float. Oof. This Gary is gonna. You just play that in Herald, right? Yeah, the next turn Gary is. That's pretty much. Oh, game. oh, that's good. Interesting. I think Herald would have been better, but. Five yeah, spells, one, two, three, four, turn. five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All right, let's try round three. See if we can uh, see if we can <laughs> see if we can one two this bad boy. I'm gonna actually take the temporal master out of the deck. I don't think I like it that much. Condemn. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna seems... condemn. Josh, if you request the song isn't copyrighted, that'd be 100 percent okay to play and still stay monetized. Would you play it? Probably not. I just don't like it's just not necessary. If it's funny, I'll play some of it just for the just for the effect, but also the evil smile, not really selling me there. Stop cracking your neck, you weirdo. I can't. Stop. Won't stop. Get it, get it. Okay. Was the good news that you got a new neck, Mike? <laughs> well, he was stretching it the other day. Milkshakes and preview draws. Hmm. Well, he's only got a super big gulp. How many ounces is a super big gulp, do you know? Find out. All right, now we got a playable hand. Can we afford another draft with only play points after this? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, we're going to win. If we win, we get 40. Doesn't actually say. Oh, yeah. We're play point rich, apparently. I think it's 44 ounces. I'm not entirely sure. I think you're 44 ounces. <laughs> I looked at the ounces on my super big gulp. It just says enough. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Back to the rules and hit the ground running. Man, I I, I guess I am that glad that there's not a, con uh, a temporal mastery here, so that's pretty good. Well, 151 points. And if we win, we get 50 from this, which means we can at least do one more. And then a second, we're real close to a second one, so. 
I've never made top eight and not gotten a milkshake beforehand. It's not how science works. I don't know what it is. If that's not how science works, I don't know what it is. It's not as like you just make up your own words halfway through a sentence. I can do whatever I want. You can. You're right. You're an old. You're an old man. You're an adult. Mike just had his 43rd birthday this uh, this past week or so. Or 27. You decide. Somewhere I decide 47. Okay. Wait, didn't you just say 43 and now it's 47? I mean, time happens, man. I don't know how it works. Magnets, probably. <sighs> Who knows? I don't. Clearly. 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 Clearly, surely. No. Why not? Just no. This deck's got to be good enough for at least a 1-2. <laughs> I feel like it. What's our opponent did say? Did we get a notification? What? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like if uh, like usually MTG bot will be like, hey, your opponent is is this and this, and they're oh. like, oh okay. I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> is it weird that you sound like that? Yes. Yes. I agree. Record tells our record, but usually when the match starts, MTG bot is like, "Hey, you have been paired against this person, and it's gonna you're gonna play this person, and you're there are this, and you're this." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." Guess we're just passing. Man, double Titan. Woo. Woo. Woo doggy. Woo. Wish we can get a, a black source of this scalding tarn, but I think we'll manage. Jesse, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Did Bloom Tender not attack or play anything last turn? That's interesting. I believe they call that incorrect. I believe that's known as an in one incorrect. All right, so they didn't have anything to play on turn five with five mana. So if we Inferno Titan and kill their Bloom Tender, their Chicken Tender, presumably they won't have anything to, to play then either. Should have cracked this last turn. I didn't think about it. Greetings from France. What's going on? Tell France I said hey. Oh, what up, France? I don't think we're really needing to get... I'll just get another island, because I like islands. I like islands! I like chicken. Oh, I, I like... Money. I forgot what it was. I was like, what's the quote from the movie? Oh my god, really? No, yeah, that sucks. Found Mike's nest neck disc. <laughs> it's a double magnet. Oh, oh wow. my god. Let's try a frost titan. Or we could just blade spicer. Leave up scatter. I'm gonna frost titan. Okay. Because, again, if they didn't have anything to play with 5 mana, and we tap down a land and give them 4, they're not going to have anything to play next turn with 5 mana. It's okay. They have another counter spell. Well, doesn't completely counter it. Doesn't it, though? I really want Kologon's command just so I can get my Inferno Titan back. Wow, with the multiplicity quote. Seriously? How is this real life? It's legendary. Oops. Arg. What I what a I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what those words are, buddy. Don't curse at me.
How's that guy work? Who, for Jenner Mimic? At the beginning of their upkeep, they make a copy. So they can change it to something else? No, they make a copy of Venser. Oh. They just make a copy of whatever it is. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, it is, but they never get to keep the guy. It's just bounce a thing every turn. Still pretty good. He's saying 7 out of 10 stars. <laughs> oh my god. Tap a land, I guess. Keep this idiot tap down. Taps down two lands. What's wrong with taking the back streets? Tender is strictly better than land. Chicken tenders are strictly better than lands. I agree with you. Chicken tenders run through my brain. Chicken tenders driving me hmm. insane. That's why he didn't bounce the frosty. Well, because then he's got to pay two more, so he's probably just going to play like something stupid. Chicken tender. Cheap, 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 cheap. Just give me a Kologon's command. I'll get back in front of Titan. I'll kill your Vincer. Wow. It's pretty good. Do you think so, Michael? Mm hmm. I guess they're just playing clones dot. I don't want to tap our frost titan. Man. Oh, because then it gets countered unless you pay two. Okay. Same reason they didn't bounce the frost titan. I just I just said it. We just stopped. We went over it. Let's go over it again. Okay. If you target this, you okay. gotta pay. Okay. okay. <laughs> just making sure you're on the on the level here. I guess we could tap their Frost Titan down. That would probably be better, right? Probably. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do that. I think you like losing. This is actually fine. Trade's also fine. We also have a lot more cards. I don't want to play Blade Splicer because they just bounce the token with Fencer, so... And I think actually the reason is if we paid two, well we have we have six mana, so actually we could have paid two. Sure. And bounce is it signet there? Maybe we pay more for it. Here well oh, never. Never ever ever. Never. Never make ever. Don't See even later. don't even gain your life. All right, now they have one card. Sphinx's rev off the top one time. I think we've earned it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where they go. Tooth and nail with entwine. You're good at this game. Oh, no, well, that's awesome. Okay, sure. Pretty good. Just shoots the golem token or the yeah, young peasy. That's what I'm assuming. 
guess you could negative, but black black is for Colagon's command. Electrolyze or something? Mana leak. Mana leak. Mana leak. Mana. Oh, this is an uphill battle. Mother truck and leak. Doesn't matter if you deal with their consecrated sphinx, their clever impersonator, their vencer. They still just get Ugin. What can you do? Mana leak. Cake man. Yep, he did. Seems good. It's pretty okay. Is colorless or is it non? It's colorless, right? Yeah. Cheap, 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 cheap. I wish we had a card. I wish we had like something better than just scatter in the graveyard. But I mean, I guess if we're we're countering something, we can. They condemn if he has a hasty boy. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have a hasty boy in their in their bant deck. Probably not. He altered. So gain seven, draw seven. Was the other part? Put up to seven permanents on the battlefield. I wish this. Oh my god! If this was a disallow instead. That'd be brutal, actually. Oh, crying out loud. Maybe they whiffed? <laughs> All lands? Maybe. What is it, put up to seven permanents? Jesus, crying out loud. Why is this like... What? That wasn't <laughs> too bad, actually. No, you're right. I mean... Oh, they're gonna cast. They're gonna cast some spells, though. Is it permanence? Seven permanent cards. Interesting. Nope. nope. Not not doing that. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we have temporal signal. Wish we could awaken. I wish we could awaken every day. What? I did that. I clicked on scatter. Click it again. <laughs> Click it again. Man, I think you should have not ulted there and just waited to turn. I would have also done the same. Like, you just win if with with Ugin on board. I guess drawing seven, there's a... Seriously? You just manually get back, right? And then they pay three. Oh, yeah, he has wall roots. Dang. No, we shouldn't have. I think our board's better. Though. I have one card in hand, whatever. We can still draw Sphinx's Revelation, which is basically just Ugin, right? No, but it's pretty good. Wall doesn't... This That's not how Wall works. They don't tap it. They just add a counter to it. Tidings too good. How is this a real game? How do you feel about tidings, man? A little bit better. Yeah. Is it six six now? Yep. Hmm. Did Mike just say tidings too good? The irony is thick. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty good if you have a uh, theater on board. <laughs> Got him. That's actually pretty good. They're gonna kill my wall, my torrential gear hulk, rather not my wall. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty old. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I forgot that guy's an artifact. Yeah, I don't think we're decking them when they have 6-6, six, six, which becomes a 7-7, seven, seven, which becomes an 8-8. Eight, eight. 
et cetera, et cetera. But I see what you're saying. Sphinx of Revelation? That's actually pretty decent. It's not terrible. Get back condemned, get rid of his stupid dude. Yeah, I don't even feel like we can attack here, to be quite honest. Um, I mean, if we attack, they could double block. Yeah. I still wouldn't kill it, though, right? Because it's a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four and a 2-2, two, two, that's 6. Uh, six, six. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Are you serious right now? It's Wait, they got two cards in their deck, though. Yeah. They're going pretty all in on this. Wow. Eater. It doesn't. It doesn't. It. It itself doesn't have. Oh, skyship. That's good. Yeah, it doesn't really do much though. No, it don't. They have two cards in their deck. Good lord, man. That seemed greedy. Sure. What if we draw... Can we just draw Cyclonic Rift again? <laughs> the problem is if they do something to get rid of this guy now. Sure, that's actually fine. That's the good one. I like this, Ajani. I gained 100 life on camera at an SCG event once, and that was pretty sweet. Did you win that game? No, we actually had a draw. <laughs> <laughs> I make dance. Thank you so much for the two-month sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Shut up, nerd. Tell me what to do. Tell you what to do? To don't. Tell you, you want me to tell you what to do? So we could. I don't know what this is, but I'm pretty. I feel pretty comfortable blocking. He's not gonna be able to flip it. Resto now. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Enjoy all your life points. Yeah, I like this better. Oh, they actually stacked it in an interesting way because we can kill a Johnny if they don't have, if we have an answer to this. Hmm. Two mana left, huh? Skyship can only deal with creatures, right? Uh, or planeswalkers. Okay. We need it to not be a land. That's not very good. We're not dead. No, we are dead. They used three power to crew this. And then they put three counters on it. So that's nine. Like, literally oh, just a five. five. No, it's, it's a six, six five. five. No. That's unfortunate. Yep. If that was any answer for a wall of roots, they... Wait. Did they? No, we're not in blocks yet. I got excited for a second. Yep. Actual dead. I'll just pass here. I mean, like, there's no way they don't see it, so. Oh, they can also just crew it with this guy. To Lupka, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Appreciate the support. Preach. Preach is right. Let's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Eleven mana sources. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight spells. Ten spells. I don't even know what you copy here. This deck's just not good. I can't even tell. It's so weird. It feels like it's good. Alright, that's all I need to see. Alright, bringing in Disenchant. I guess we... What did we see? We saw the stupid ship. Mm. Was that... Was that it? Uh, Yeah, I think that's it. Weird. I mean, if we play the search, they know we have nothing. We lost that game, unfortunately. I don't feel like our deck's bad. They just had answers for everything. Oh, God. Fine. This is basically the same hand with better mana. Minus a PZ. Sure. You can stay. They went to 6-2. Maybe that's good. We only, if only we drew Sphinx's Revelation. I think I, I feel like we've lost so many games in this format by being at the mercy of the top deck. Like, there's so many matches where I'm just like, well, if I, if I didn't draw a land here, if I had access to more than one card. So we know you have Negate and Sensor. I really don't want to walk into a Sensor here. Probably just wave turn. Yeah, I don't think there's any. We also, I don't know if we saw other counter spells. How tall am I? About six, six and a half. All right, game three. We did good. We played hard. We also haven't seen Snapcaster Mage once in this draft. And you know you had that. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> Actually, don't hate this hand. We're on the draw. We can play this guy and this guy. Any lands, and we've got some real good, some real good stuff happening. If they play a chicken tender, we can kill it. All right. What's a chicken tender? Uh, it's a tap stat, a mana of any color that of the permanents you you can oh, produce. Oh, boon tender. Okay. It's chicken tender. Is it? I think we just kill this now. Yeah, that seems right. We missed a little 1 1 cutie, but. Alright, no lands for the rest of the game, I guess. Sorry, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I got my toes crossed, too, if that means anything to you. Your fingies and toes? Luffingeals. Today has not been a successful one for uh, for cube drafts, unfortunately. 
Did you do one before this? Yes. How'd that go? One, two, I believe. Ooh. Okay. All right, well. This is not actually that scary. How did they do? Real... Sure. They put one on the bottom, one on the top, so. What up, Axel? Now that's pod racing. God, the amount of games you don't actually get to play Magic the Gathering is infuriating. fundamental flaw with a game that has a resource system where you have no control over when or which resources you get I actually love Hearthstone I'll be playing some Hearthstone later this week actually so Electrolyze would be great kill this shoot your thing get a guy draw a card hit a land Electrolyze one time can we do that Snapcaster into dead gone Uh, are you complaining that you kept a two lander that isn't going runner 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 land now I'm complaining that I haven't hit more than three lands in 11 cards and I'm also complaining that uh, there have been a significant number of games all day today that have either resulted in flooding or mana screw and I, I feel like, like that's a legitimate thing to complain about. It's like going to five could just be worse, so. Didn't we also mulligan this game? Yeah, I think so. I thought we did. No, we didn't. They did. Oh. Didn't we go to four game one? Like, we also, I don't think we've drawn Electrolyze either. We haven't drawn Electrolyze, Snapcaster, or I imagine there's something else. I mean, they have two cards in hand, which is not a lot. This game is definitely still winnable. God, do they just have negate? I'm pretty sure I put a fourth land in the deck. I just have to find that one fourth land that I have in here. I got a free land. What a deal. Yeah, never. Nope, that's not it. Put that thing in the garbage can. Do, 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 do. Put your dude in the trash can. I'm pretty sure we just Cyclonic Rift something. Just the stupid Pyromancer. It does with an Issa too. Yeah. Like they clearly don't have a counter spell here, so. For one green? Probably not. Well, it's Vivid Grove, so it's one of any color actually, but. And I just hope they don't have Condemn, I guess. I have my doubts. Cool. So they still have Vizier. Was that the that was the clone? Vizier of. Yep. Sure. Maybe a land. It's likely the best land we could have hit there. Oh oh oh, the right stuff. 
good Chandra here? It's going to get countered 1,000%. They're just sitting on a sensor or a negate. We all know it. But if they're not... I'm assuming one of their cards is Ugin, which is why they kept this guy. So I guess we risk it for the biscuit. It does feel like Ugin in hand. Like, we can't bait with Splicer, because Splicer can't get negated. Like, there's no baiting. Like, you can't bait with a card if they if they have no option to negate it or censor it. Then it's not bait. <laughs> so. So now we know they have Vizier in hand. If, if their hand is Vizier, Ugin, Negate, like, all right, you got it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Wow. <sighs> is extremely frustrating? You think? Where were you last turn? That would have been great. I guess, well, I guess they just negated anyway, so whatever. I mean, it's turn nine. We've missed five land drops, so. Uh, I like their other Jeskai deck significantly more than this. I just don't think cards like Blade Splicer are any good in this cube. It's very weird. All the top end cards, like Ugin, Nicol Bolas, like, they're all so good. I mean, what does this even do? We hit Ugin for three? Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Just lightning bolt our guy. We get a 1-1 one, one on board. This is just terrible. I mean, we passed Nicol Bolas, but we passed it for... What, what did we pass it for? Something pretty solid, I thought. Copy Blade Splicer, sure. <laughs> Fashion related to the party. They have no cards in hand. <sighs> That'd be good if you didn't have a Nicol Bolas. Also, we've missed six land drops so far. We have seen four lands and 16 cards. Uh, nope. I don't want to kill this thing. Let's kill this, I guess. Sarcastotron, thanks for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. Have a good night, buddy. All right. Well, she did. You okay, man? My old bones are cracking.
Krakens? Are they Leviathans as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see? All right, we don't have... The only the only land we can get here is a Steam Vents, which is what we're going to get. So, I guess... Land. That was a good one as far as lands go. Hope your one card you drew wasn't a sensor. All right. Well, we are definitely going to... Uh, you can just shoot Ugin, right? We 100% shoot Ugin, yes. And we hope they negative six. Because <laughs> they could also... Um, they could also lightning bolt this and then flash it back to copy Inferno Titan. Which is pretty good. And that's what they're going to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm in three. Thank you so much for saying so. Glad you made it. I would have cried if their last card was a sensor. So we go to... Literal tears. Actually, we get to attack, shoot this guy for three. Kill with the healers. Yeah, that seems really good. And we get to go back up to 12. That seems real good, actually. Are we just back in this game now? We might be. This is interesting. We'll have to get the Ugin off the board, but... But it's not as pertinent anymore. I'm sorry, what's going on? Okay. I mean, you already used the negate, so I will assume that this is going to go through. Hmm. Seems good. Problem is they just negative six here, I guess. Yeah, but then we can Gearhawk, Lightning Helixes. You have Condemn, why don't you use that on the Titan instead and, and fire it? Because then they just block with the Titan. Because I don't want them to block with the Titan and trade. What did you say? Yeah, we can actually Gearhawk into Lightning Helix is pretty yeah. good. That's annoying, though. Yeah. Actually, Gear Hulk into Electrolyze is probably better. It draws as a card. Oh, sure. Now I'm actually not minding drawing these lands. Just make sure we get the actually electrolyze, all right? Yeah, draw a card seems better. I don't need a three random life when we have uh, Sphinx's Rev in hand. Please leave. Oh, all right, we got a game. I don't know what happened. This is amazing. I mean, the upside to being mass screwed is when you finally get out of it, and you have you have a handful yeah. of like like gas yeah, because yeah. you. Couldn't play anything. I just think we're kind of favored now. Um, I don't know. This guy can get out of control. We just want to be able to deal with that. Yeah, but that takes a while. You can't really attack. You take a while. For what? He also uh, only has four minutes on his clock. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. 
Come on, 40 play points. I mean, at this point, yeah, at this point, at this play point, I'm just I'm just cl- trying to claw my way into this uh this not 03 bracket, I guess. It's not even about the play points, it's just about the shame. It is about the shame. It's a shame it's a shame victory. Well, that's pretty good. <sighs> now we have a condemn. I want them to put all the counters on this guy, and then we can just condemn it, because that's actually really good. They, they did it. They did it, boys. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's, that guy doesn't really matter. He doesn't. Beep, beep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can draw five. I hit okay, right? I think we're actually just going to Restoration Angel here so we can play this pretty safely. Oh, they definitely might time out. That is definitely a real thing that might happen. And we also want to play this so that their mayor doesn't flip. Mayor B. Probably he's going to flip on their turn. Assuming they don't draw anything. No, then we'll play Resto. If they don't play anything, we're Restoing and killing it with Lightning Helix. Look at the top four. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. I hope you... Is that... Uh, games. Hmm. We just counter that, right? Yes. I forgot that was an option. I got scared for a second. That's why I'm here. Is that why? Yeah. Okay, I'm not a big fan of what's happening right now. Add one. Nope, add. Why, there we go. We'll figure this out. I forgot we had scatter. So, so, so scatter. Yes. Really, you're gonna say wow? I got stuck on lands. For, I, I was ten lands behind. I was like seven. I missed seven land drops, and in the other game, you had everything. You censored. You negated. You had every removal. Yeah, it's actually been a pretty back and forth game. Right, like. Don't give me a wow at this point, man. Just because I'm able to finally play the game. Oh, all right, cool. I think, all right, I think he's actually being cool about it. It's hard, it's so hard to tell, you know. Um, We're going to have to tighten here. Yeah, tighten, tap down, blocker. Get rid of the, the uh, Johnny. Our hand's pretty amazing. <laughs> Our hand is amazing, yeah. I agree with you. Oh, got him. Wow, apparently uh, our deck was unstoppable. I don't know how we <laughs> lost the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully next time we'll have a little better luck, but uh, entertaining nonetheless. So I'll uh, press those like and subscribe buttons, smash them, and I'll see you guys next time.